episode four. Inverse trig functions. In a mathless world where innumerable crimes are committed each day, and nobody can even calculate how innumerable these crimes are, or just how many are committed, or even the percentage committed on Thursdays, there was the circle unit. Ladies and gentlemen, the circle unit. <laughs> I'm Peter. I'm John. I'm Brian. And I'm Brad. Today, kids, we're doing something too advanced for the blackboard. That means we need... <gasps> the green board? No! The white board. Guys, calm down. This is a job for the math portal. Whoa! The math portal! Baton, baton. Who's got the baton? It's button, damn it! Let's learn about inverse trig functions. But first, we need to know what functions and their inverses are. For a function to be a function, it has to pass the vertical line test, which means that a vertical line can only touch the graph once. A horizontal line test is used to tell if the inverse is a function. If on the horizontal test, two or more points are touched, that means that the inverse is not a function. Now an inverse function is a reflection of that function over the y equals x line. To find the coordinates for the inverse, all you need to do is swap the x's and y's from the original function. The inverse of the sine wave is not a function. <gasps> no, no, don't worry. All we have to do is restrict the domain to negative pi over 2, pi over 2. This domain restriction makes the inverse a function. As you can see here, the sine wave repeats over and over. The portion of the wave between negative pi over 2, pi over 2, has no two points with the same x-coordinate, which is what makes it, and its inverse, a function. The domain restriction for cosine is 0 to pi, or the top half of the unit circle, and the domain restrictions for tangent is negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, or the right side of the unit circle. Now that we know about functions and their inverses, we can begin to find exact values of inverse trig functions. When you see something like this, you have to ask yourself, what angle has that sine value? Negative pi over 2 is the only value on the domain of negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 that has negative 1 as its sine. Therefore, the exact value of that function is negative pi over 2. This is where knowing your unit circle comes in. This one's a bit more complex. You have to ask yourself one question. What angle has the sine value? Since we all know our unit circles, we know that negative pi over 4 has a value of negative square root of 2 over 2, so the exact value of the function is negative pi over 4. Beautiful! This one gets much easier. All you need is a calculator. If it asks for the value rounded to two decimal places, you simply put it in your calculator and round it to two decimal places. That's it. And don't forget to make sure your calculator is in radians. So now, what if we get an answer outside the domain restrictions? You find a point on the unit circle somewhere in the domain restriction that has the same value. For example, the sine inverse of 180 degrees. The answer cannot be pi because pi does not fall within the domain restriction of the sine inverse function. So class, what other angle has the same sine value as pi? You know we can still move as they think. Oh. That's right, kids. Zero pi. Okay, kids, let's try something a bit harder. Now we're going to find the sine inverse of a sine. This part is actually quite simple, so long as the numerical value is within the domain restriction. So as you can see here, all you need to do is cross out the two sine functions, and you're left with the answer. If the numerical value is outside the domain restriction, you simply need to find the other angle with the same value. Now, the sine of a sine inverse basically follows the same rule. However, if the numerical value is larger than 1, your answer is undefined because it is out of the range of the function. Now we're going to move on to the cosine wave. We remember that the domain restriction for the cosine wave is 0 to pi, or the top half of the unit circle. Cosine problems are solved in the same way as sine problems. You ask yourself, what angle has that value? So, the cosine inverse 
of cosine also follows the same rule as sine in that the two cosine functions cancel out and you are left with your answer. Illegal. The boobah is right, Brad. The argument has to be within the domain restrictions for this to work. The example should go a little more something like this. Tangent follows the same restriction as sine. Negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. It's example time! Now we're going to find the inverse of a function. We need to find the domain and range of f and f inverse. So for the function f, since it is a sine wave, the domain is all real numbers, and the range is determined by taking the argument and setting it greater than or equal to negative 1 and less than or equal to 1. Then we have to multiply out the denominator to both sides and subtract out the other constants on both sides as well. The two numbers will make up the x and y values for the range. The inverse is found simply by switching the domain and range of the regular function. That is, the domain of the regular function becomes the range of the inverse, and the range of the regular function becomes the domain of the inverse. Now this is the part that gets tricky. We're going to start solving composite functions. While that might look scary, composite functions are not that hard. Here we see the sign of the tangent inverse of pi over 3. Now instead of telling you about this, I'm going to show you. It's example time! Alright kids, good luck and see you later! Please don't fail. You'll make us look bad. Today's presentation is brought to you by the letter theta and the number tangent of pi. We can't actually reveal what number responds to this because they didn't pay us enough. Circle Unit Incorporated takes no responsibility for any and all lack of understanding and or failing grades on the final exam. Math is a wonderful thing. Math is a really cool thing. So get off your ad, let's do some math, 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 math.